All right, uh, day number something. We've been two weeks on the road Saturday, on Saturday. Today is Monday. We're camping by the Grand Canyon, which is in that direction. We'll go and check it out today. This is the upper side of Grand Canyon. And uh, we found a place to camp. Kind of slept in today. And Mitch is about to cook breakfast. Sausage and potatoes. Pretty straightforward. Tea has been brewed already. I had a little biscuit with it. Feels good. I don't know how it's going to be throughout the day, but right now there's no wind. Just a slight little movement in the air. So it's actually pretty nice. As it can be seen, there is snow on the ground. There was a couple of weeks ago, a big storm went through. Uh, at night it wasn't too cold. Much, much easier than it was in Idaho. But our tent, when we packed it, it was wet, so it all got frozen and stayed frozen all the way through California and everything. So that kind of made it a little bit of a too humid inside. And by morning, it was a little bit, a little bit cool. So anyway, beautiful surroundings, beautiful scenery, enjoying it, and we'll see what this day brings. Well, so far everything is working out just fine. Mitch likes to cook, and he is a good cook. Huh? Yeah. And uh, so far it's going pretty well. We're not getting in on each other's nerves. I want to get some firewood. Your purse turned out to be a pretty good saw. What is it? It's a Husky 550 XP. At some first, I had a little reservation about it because it has all the emission control and electronic chalk. Um, and I thought it's going to be finicky, but it's actually turned out to be a pretty good saw so far. Pretty happy with it. Well, here it is. That's where it all starts. Grand Canyon, the upper portion, where it's supposed to be not as deep as the lower portion. And uh, actually, I'm really surprised that there is uh, there's no wind. <laughs> It seems to be all flat. It probably blows here quite often, but this morning it's just gorgeous. Huh, Mitch? You like that word, gorgeous. Anyway, yeah, beautiful sight. Uh, we are about to take off and we'll go and see the lower portion of the canyon and also visit uh, Zion a National Park in Utah. And then probably camp for a couple of more days on Wednesday, uh, Friday, or Saturday morning. We're planning to be uh, at my friends, good friends Mike and and Bert, uh, in Colorado. Oh, Mitch, did you hear that? We better step away from the edge. Things are start falling down. I don't even know where it was. Did you hear the echo? Uh -huh. Nice sight. Well, I guess enough of that. Let's move out, Mitch. 
you know it's uh it's impressive but we had a similar canyon on our property not as deep not as large but uh overall yeah of course it's it's tremendously and that's supposedly just one third probably of the depth of the the lower portion i guess we'll find out We're about nine miles past Jacob Lake and came to a scenic view, like pull off area. And they have this little, little hut built, which I thought was kind of nice. Nice little picnic table. You can do a little lunch or something. Then view of the outskirts of the Grand Canyon. Pretty nice. A crow on the roof. Creating all sorts of mischief. Hey. What are you doing? Just entered Zion National Park and so far pretty amazing. Yeah, I would say uh, it's not exaggerated by all the people that we talked to. They were rating it one of the top destinations for view views. Hello, just chilling on the sun. Mountain sheep. So we are the whipping rock and it's almost pointless to film this. I don't think camera will ever give a justice. Uh, but basically uh, Whipping Rock itself is beyond those trees down this trail. But without a doubt, uh, Zion has not been disappointing. I don't know much looking at him, I'm getting hungry myself. Not for the grass, just generally. All right, so we spent a full day at Zion National Park. We could easily spend here a week, even a month. Different trails, we've taken a couple of the trails and uh, uh, just incredible incredible views. Leaving now, so here's some of the scenery and sounds.